Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. My free ebook, Surfactant Science Principles and Practice, is linked to a large series of apps on my Practical Surfactants website. In this video, we use the apps to go beyond the ideas of balance and explore how to use the ideas of curvature via NAC, Net Average Curvature. The previous video explained how one can formulate using HLD, hydrophilic lipophilic difference. We didn't have time to talk about the power of this for extracting oil from wells, for cleaning clothes and many other things. But the true power of HLD increases greatly when you add NAC, net average curvature. That's when you get a lot of predictive power. Very briefly, net curvature is very easy to understand. You have some oil drops and you have some water drops and the curvature is 1 over the radius of the oil minus 1 over the radius of the water. It's the balance of the two curvatures. And this net curvature happens to equal HLD over the length of the tail. So HLD is automatically related to curvature of the oil and water phase. There's another aspect called the average curvature, which is just the average of the two curvatures, 1 over the radius of the oil plus 1 over the radius of the water times half. And the average curvature turns out to be equal to 1 over xi, which is the Degen coherence length, which is well known from surfactant science. And when you combine net curvature and average curvature, you can predict many things, and that's why we need net average curvature. One of the things we can predict using NAC is the fish diagram. Here I've got a classic fish diagram. The head of the fish is missing as it's a small effect. We're saying we have a salinity, we have a temperature, it doesn't matter in this case, uh, and we have a cc of the surfactant. The surfactant has a molecular weight. And what it's telling us is that with this particular set of conditions, at low temperature you're on type 1 domain, then you go into the type 3 domain at intermediate temperature, and then at higher temperatures you're in type 2. So this is a classic ethoxylate case. And at uh, something like 14.5%, uh, and at 42.8 degrees, these curves meet, and you have a pure single phase type 4. And this is the fish diagram. You can measure these curves. The point is that we can calculate these just from the basic values. If I change the head area, if I make the head area larger, then the efficiency goes down. In order to get a type 4, in order to really get things together, I need to go to 27% surfactant. If I go back to the original head length, and if I have a longer tail, we all know that longer tails are a good thing, so in this case we'd need only 3% surfactant to have a type 4. It's rather difficult to get a surfactant with such a long tail, but that's a different story. There's more we can do with uh, NAC ideas. Because it's connected with curvature, we can actually explore microemulsion curvature. And it's been shown that the HLD NAC type curvature is related to other concepts like packing parameter, not the CPP, but the real packing parameter, and to Helfrich torque. But the point is that you can start to understand this curvature, how the oil or the head or the different factors change the curvature from one way to the other. Just briefly touching on the power of NAC, you'll have to explore the apps and the book to understand it in more detail.